Using Civil 3D 2018, we now have more choices when it comes to creating automated construction documents. In this session, we'll explore the new Plan Over Plan and Profile Over Profile sheets. On my screen, I have a drawing that represents a proposed roadway model. You can see we're viewing this geometry in both Plan and Profile view. Let me zoom in. If I hover, you can see the alignment used to create this corridor is called Route 55. I'm going to double-click the mouse wheel to do a zoom extents. Before we create plan over plan and profile over profile sheets, I'd like to take a second and look at the layouts that we'll be using. We'll do that by clicking the open button, and then in the files of type, I'll set this to DWT. I will then select the template we'll be using in this session, and I'll click open. Notice that this template includes a layout called plan over plan 50 scale and profile over profile 50 scale. Let's take a look at plan over plan first. Once I've selected the layout, I'm going to jump down to the Home tab, and then I'll open the Layer Control, and I'd like to turn on the Viewport layer. Here we can see the viewports that'll be used to view the plan views. Both of these viewports are set to 50 scale, by the way. Now, if you've created a layout for Plan Over Profile Sheets, you'll find that Plan Over Plan and Profile Over Profile are created very similar. Just for a second, I'm going to select this top viewport. I'll come over to the Properties palette. And if I drag down to the bottom, you can see this viewport has a plan designation. New in Civil 3D 2018 is this viewport order setting. Notice that is set to 1. I'm going to press Escape, and I'll select the other viewport. We'll come over to the Properties palette. I'll drag down to the bottom. Notice this one has a viewport order of 2. That setting represents a hierarchy allowing Civil 3D to know the order in which to place the plan views on the sheet. Knowing this, we don't have to stop with a plan over plan sheet. We could create plan over plan over plan. In fact, using the new viewport order setting, you can have as many plan or profile views on each layout as you want. Let's take a look at the profile over profile layout. Same thing here, we have two viewports. I'll select the viewport on top, and in the properties palette, we can see this has a profile designation with a viewport order of one. Let me press escape. You can probably guess when I select the one down below, if I drag this to the bottom, this has also got a profile designation with a viewport order of two. Once again, I'll press Escape to deselect. So these are the layouts that we'll be using in this session. I'm going to go ahead and close this template file. I'm not going to save changes. Knowing that, let me show you one more thing. I'm going to come up and click Open. When you load Civil 3D 2018 in the Template folder, you'll find this directory called Plan Production. In here, you'll find a new Plan Over Plan and a Profile Over Profile template that includes layouts for these respective sheets. You can use these templates for experimentation purposes or to reverse engineer and create your own layouts. But right now, I'm going to close this, and we'll create some Plan Over Plan sheets first. To create the sheets, I am going to select the Output tab, and then I'll come down to the end in the Plan Production panel, and I'll choose Create View Frames. I'd like to create the view frames using my Route 55 alignment. We'll create them along the full station range. I'll click Next. For Sheets, I'm going to choose Plans Only. I will then click the Ellipsis button. I would then click this Ellipsis button. Here's where we would select the template that contains the layouts that we're interested in. I'll choose Open. From here, I will select my desired layout. I'm going to choose that one called Plan Over Plan 50 that we just looked at a minute ago, and I'll click OK. I'd like my view frames placed along the alignment. Let me click Next. For the view frame group, I'm going to append the word plan to the name. I'll keep the default styles, and I'll click Next. I'll keep the default match line styles and settings, and I'll choose Create View Frames. Once the view frames are created, we can then come back to the plan production panel and choose Create Sheets. I'd like to create the sheets using my Route 55 plan view frame group. We will build the sheets from all the view frames. In this case, I'd like to place all the layouts in the current drawing. Let's prefix the layout names with the word plan. Right here, you can see it's already found the north arrow that I'm using on that layout. Let's click Next. I'd like to add these sheets to an existing plan set. Let me click the ellipsis button. You can see I've already got a Route 55 Improvements sheet set created. I'll choose Open. And then I'll choose Create Sheets. This will save the drawing. After the layouts have been added, I'll go ahead and close the panorama. Here in the Sheet Set Manager, you can see the two new sheets. Likewise, we can see the layouts down here. Let's choose Plan 1. Note that we are seeing the Plan Over Plan view. I'm going to turn the pen weights on for a second. And if I zoom in, we can see the corridor running down to Station 12. We can see that it picks up at Station 12 and runs down to Station 24. Let's take a look at Plan Sheet 2. Here we're picking up a 24, 
and running down to 36. And then we're picking up again at 36 to the end of the roadway design. So as you can see, very easy to create plan over plan sheets. Knowing that, let's create some profile over profile sheets. I'm going to start by closing the Sheet Set Manager. We'll jump back to Model Space. I will turn off the pen weights momentarily to make this easier to see. Now typically we would probably pull these sheets in a different drawing. That's alright, for the purpose of this session we'll pull everything in this file. I'm going to go to the Home tab for a second, and in the Layers panel I'll click the Freeze button, and I would like to freeze my previous view frame group and these match lines. I will then type Regen to clean up my screen. To create the Profile over Profile sheets, we'll go back to the Output tab. I'll choose Create View Frames. We'll create view frames from the same alignment, using the Automatic Station Range. Next, for Sheets, I'll choose Profiles only. I'm going to use that same template. I'll select the Profile over Profile layout this time, and I'll click OK. I'd like those view frames placed along the alignment. Let me click Next. For the view frame group, I'm going to append the word Profile to the name. We'll keep the default style settings and I'll click Next. Going to keep the defaults for the match lines and I'll click Next. I will also keep the defaults for my profile view style and band set style. Finally, I'll choose Create View Frames. Once the view frames are created, I can pull the sheets by going back to the Plan Production panel and I'll choose Create Sheets. This time we'll create the sheets using my Route 55 profile view frame group. I'd like to use all of the view frames. We'll put all the layouts in the current drawing. I'm going to prefix the layout names with the word Profile. I'll click Next. We'll add the sheets to that same sheet set that we used earlier, and I'll click Next. Now when it comes to the Profile View settings, I like to take a more hands-on approach. So I'm going to click Choose Settings, and then I'll click Profile View Wizard. Let's keep the defaults for Profile View Height. For Profile Display Options, I'm going to drag this to the right because I'd like my Route 55 finished grade profile to use my standard label set. I'll click OK. Let me click Next. For the data bands, I would like the labels along the bottom on the left to represent the existing ground elevation, and the labels on the right to represent the finished grade elevation. I'll click Next. No hatch options. Let me click Next. We'll keep the defaults for the multiple plot options, and I'll click Finish. I will then choose Create Sheets. This will save the drawing. Let's zoom out a little, and I'll place my new profiles up above. Once the new sheets have been added, I'm going to go ahead and close the panorama. Let's do a quick regen. Note we can see the new sheets right here, and we can see the layouts down below. We'll take a look at Profile 1 first. After selecting that sheet, I'm going to turn the pen weights on. We'll zoom in and review the layout. Finally, we'll jump over and take a look at Profile Sheet 2. When I'm finished reviewing the sheet, I'll double-click the mouse wheel to do a zoom extents. So when it comes to construction documentation, Civil 3D 2018 allows us to create even more industry standard sheets using an automated workflow. In addition, the new viewport order setting makes it possible to create your own custom layout configurations if needed. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.